Welcome back. All right, so you saw that clip. Meanwhile, we have to, uh, of course, give credit to Hit TV. Uh, thank you for that clip. Right, I'd like for us to start by way of the law. So let me first of all bring Barrister Abia into this discussion. Which aspect of an entertainer's income is actually taxable by law? Well, well it, it depends. Um, it depends. Mm. Everybody is um, required to pay tax, to pay tax. You know, generally. Every person who earns mm. is required to pay tax. Um, every company is also required to pay um, taxes. But um, it would depend on um, the sort. Uh, the, first of all, the the umbrella with, them, with, with which the person is carrying on business. For instance, if I'm carrying on business as um, a company, mm -hmm. you pay the co taxes required from the companies. Now, if you're carrying on business as an individual, you pay the tax required from the individual. So these are two different things. Now, for most entertainers, um, I, I notice that most entertainers run uh, their thing as individuals. And for those individuals, what they are required to pay is personal income tax, which they are required to pay to government. Now, for the bodies that now you have the cinema, you have other you know uh, bodies you have the record labels and mm -hmm. all that mm -hmm. now that's where the question comes in w what are the taxes they are required to pay now they are required to pay um companies income tax as a company now they are also required to pay um, um capital gains tax if they you have leased the place you 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 have leased the place or you've um, bought a place you're required to pay capital in uh, gains tax of course um this uh, tax it can also be collected from the person who's receiving the money from you and mm -hmm. then withhold and pay over to the government. So okay. that's where the withholding, withholding tax is not a tax on its own, but when you're withholding it on to pay to over to um, you know, the agency of government, it becomes a withholding tax. Then for, um, you're also required to remit personal income tax mm -hmm. of the, the staffers who are in, within that organization okay. to the government. Mm -hmm. uh, the personal income tax. Aside which, yours. Yes, aside yours. Okay. Uh, yes, mm -hmm. aside this other company tax. Mm -hmm. You're meant to you know hold it the so you deduct a, a particular percentage mm -hmm. of their of what you are paying and which you pay on their behalf to the government so that the government does not lose that revenue uh, because you have paid off everything then you're also required to pay education tax which mm -hmm. is two percent of um your your after after profits um you know uh, after um after after what you have spent your profit to two percent so that's what you pay as education tax of course you're also required to pay i've mentioned cap, um, companies income tax uh, capital gains tax i've also mentioned education tax then the next personal one is income VA. tax yeah. yes mm -hmm. i've also mentioned personal mm -hmm. income tax then the other one is vat uh, vat is payable on um, services and products for value added Goods. so, value added, <laughs> you know, there. so mm. all of us now, I, I've heard a lot, you know, where um, tax authorities come to the TV, come to the radio and say that Nigerians don't pay taxes. It's, 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 a, it's a big lie. Okay. Nigerians pay a lot of taxes. <laughs> There, there is hardly any Nigerian. A lot of times we're yeah, even yeah. double taxed. Yeah. There's a, many a, times, a phrase many like times that, yeah. Nigerians are double taxed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Especially those who run businesses. Yes. Are mm -hmm. Not even double, multiple, severally taxed. Mm -hmm. So Nigerians pay a lot of taxes. Mm -hmm. The problem is that the government has not been able to streamline its tax collection you know, processes. Yes. So a lot of these taxes are collected by several different uh, agencies uh, bodies. and bodies. And at the end of so the day, it is, no, lost yes. from, uh, mm -hmm. it is lost from, you know, the, the government. Yes. So it, is not, it doesn't get into government. Mm -hmm. Let me give you an instance. Mm -hmm. You have an office here. Then somebody co walks in and tells you his local government. Mm -hmm. He collects one other, you know, thing he, which he calls different names, you know, by different names. Now, at the end of the day, that person uh, has been sent by is by some local government chairman. What happened, in, you know, where, where in the in the complex, you know, which where I, I have my office. That person was actually sent by the local government chairman. Chairman, I met the local government chairman. He sent that person, but that money it does not go into government account because what I noticed was that when we raised an issue, we decided to you know rush to court. The chairman mm -hmm. called us mm -hmm. and you know decided to Just have meetings. To so this, mm -hmm. this because they know that this thing does not get into the coffers of the government. They yeah. don't want these things to be held. Okay, so, I, I don't mean to, to button, in, but then uh, let's bring in Mr. Kafo into this because you are sitting at top, you know, uh, I'd like to describe P-Man still 
as one of the apex, you know, uh, association in the only, music. Yeah. Only registered. You register in, in, in well, okay, <laughs> in the entertainment <laughs> industry. Now, as a representative of a lot of entertainers in Nigeria, what is your take really on this issue of tax? Yeah, I, I was at that event. Uh, mm -hmm. I presented a paper, mm -hmm. and I made them to see reason why, reason why we cannot pay tax now, mm. and why we have been paying tax. Now, if you're engaging a musician, let me start with a musician for a concert. The the, the engagement company already will take out withholding tax, right? Then the com the guy will take a couple of his um, uh, gigs put the money together and buy a house or buy a, a big car. And you're now, now seeing how the processes of how he got here. What you want to see is, he bought a new car, he bought a new house, so I want him to pay tax. I on want him to on pay. that car. But he has already that. paid. So mm. basically what we are suffering is multi-taxation. Mm. Okay. Now for endorsement, before they pay them their money for endorsement, the company paying them already have been taken out. Tax. Okay. Now, mm. but, where they are not looking at, that they haven't bothered to touch, is royalty. He can be also making money from royalty to back as a backup. But the royalty structure has been left with a whole lot of loopholes. Mm. That's what I'm saying. None of the musicians or creative people in Nigeria, producers, directors, writers, can boastfully tell us as of today that they've collected royalty from anywhere for the past 10 years. In Nigeria, no musician has. Nobody has. Now we're battling. You, ha, you guys had MI when he talked about the 70. Uh, 30, 30, 30, yes, 30, I raised 30, that at the floor of the NAS. I was the one that raised it at the floor of the NAS and it became a, a, um, an issue mm. that they are trying to resolve. Now, the international standard practice says 70 Truly. individual for small, mm -hmm. penny, penny, mm. uh, 2,000, 3,000, 5,000 tax. Mm. No. This is the standard, the solution, how they've been doing it in Japan, in Canada, in US. Why do you think they depend on the entertainment industry? Now, entertainment industry is actually the biggest in Africa. Mm -hmm. It's number three in the world. Mm -hmm. But hey, we're making a whole lot of... CNN, like a month ago, said um, from their research that only streaming from the Nigerian movie gave us, thinking we got the money, <laughs> seven point something trillion. Wow. Yeah, seven point something billion, mm. which amounts are like two point something trillion. Seven point something billion dollars. Dollars, in dollars, dollars. yes, okay. in dollars. Mm -hmm. Now, somebody called me, President, where the money go? That's a fact. Yes, they've done the research. That's what uh, uh, companies made from streaming. Mm. But who did they pay to? And so the two end is he went to the major pirates. Hmm. It didn't come to the owners. Hmm. So if we're going to get um, government to work and get a tax hmm. okay. um, revenue from this sector, we must put a structure that we block Please. those loopholes and we won't start chasing the video. He did 30 billion concert, whiskey did this. No, no, it's not necessary. Hmm. Okay, all right, um, Akinyele, you have something <coughs> to say regarding this. And uh, for even the young artists, because I'm pretty scared um, you were probably mentioning the different types of taxes which ought to have been paid. A lot of artists at home is just, you will be listening, to it, it's just pay, 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 pay. pay, pay, pay. pay. At the end of the day, what do I Without eat? having a structure yes. that you're putting together to yes. actually make it work. Mm -hmm. America is actually functioning for the Hollywood and um, the yes. music industry because mm -hmm. there is a structure that works out for the artists whereby they need to pay their taxes. Mm -hmm. So what's your own take on that? All right, I think this last talk is just... Yes, it's, it's just a shameful talk for, for me. I don't know. It's, 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 it's taking me to the tight and uh, story that we have been struggling with for, for many months now since last year. So I think government is trying to make tax look like tight now for us. Hmm. Either you get anything back or you don't get anything back, you must pay the tax. You must pay. Come and pay the tax. Let's, let's just take the money from you people. Mm -hmm. In America, sure. there's Hollywood. I'm not sure Hollywood was built by. American uh, creatives. I, I, I guess there's investment somewhere, somewhere, mm -hmm. government, uh, uh, with government uh, and they built Hollywood. Where, what do we have in, uh, in Nigeria? Uh, and we have the fastest growing entertainment industry in Africa mm -hmm. being carried by individuals. Mm -hmm. Lately, they said it's, they said it's first speaking industry of 
Yeah, that's what they, they bring their money to industry to push industry. So sure. the industry is pushing, yeah. and so people are having job. Mm. So people are actually being happy, listening to good music, watching good movies. <coughs> so I think this this tax issue is bringing is taking us to church like tithes to me. Meanwhile, we all pay tithes. I'm a talent manager. We pay tax. Sorry, we pay tax. Sorry, tax. <laughs> we pay this tax. Maybe not direct, maybe not directly to the government. We pay tax to, to, to companies that give us gigs. Yeah. We pay yeah. to telcos that that, that 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 upload our songs for digital use. Even mm. online, YouTube, uh, the Spotify, the Tidal, the iTunes. They take, they it took out. Ta they take tax from our. Mm. Who are they giving this tax to? Mm. So the government should look for us to structure themselves, to, to structure, balance themselves, yes. to pressure themselves yes. to take all this tax from where it belongs exactly. to. Not coming to me. Meanwhile, if I buy a car from my concert. I pay tax on that car. Mm. If I build a house on a concert, I pay tax on that house. Mm -hmm. So why are you chasing me so about? Should, yes, again to pay so, another. So I, I think we just, I, I get, we, I get we just have a, we just have a, argument. We just have this government that does not know where to put their hands on. They just want to put and anywhere they like to put hands on, cause trouble anywhere. Mm. So you calm down. Okay, all right. Now, uh, Mr. Abia, this issue is beginning to look like a hydra-headed monster. You know where you know you have so many outlets. So how do we consolidate everything? You know, and then uh, foster a way forward. Mm. Yeah, I, I think the federal and state governments should get their first of all get their acts together. You know, with their tax authorities, okay. um, ensure that each one knows you know what it collects. Because at times you have the issue that something you've paid to the federal agency, the state government will come and demand the same tax, mm. exactly the same. The same thing. thing. And when you even tell the mm. officers of the state government that you've paid this. To the federal government, they say no. Not that their you, business. It's not their business. You must pay pay again to us. So the federal government and the state government, the tax authorities generally, should be able to streamline these things. Then also, it's also important to ensure that they they get to the pro, the proper uh, bodies that have. For instance, you have a company that has collected now the company that has collected these taxes in terms of withholding tax. Has not been has not paid it now. The agencies of government connive with these companies to evade tax, to evade tax. Sorry, now to and then they now come back <laughs> to the individuals yeah. and still start asking for the same taxes that have that have been uh, re re remitted through that were meant to have been remitted through these other agencies, through these other com through these other companies that have collected these like taxes. Exactly. So the, the government has to get its acts right, and if it gets its acts right, it would not be difficult to uh, you know get people to. <laughs> pay taxes and especially also when you see that government is functioning in your own interest mm. that you, you see that government is making investments in that industry that government is ensuring that people who work in that industry get get, uh, get get a benefit for yeah. you know uh, being part of that automatically yes automatically you want to give so them, there, there, you know? there's yeah. no loan system there is no grant system for anybody to say okay i want to start a record label or i want to start a management company i, I want to do a movie let me go There's here, no let me get support. to this place and get this amount you, of money you, you to can't do even a movie. Do that. Can't even no, do that. You can't even do that because the structure is wrong. Mm. You can't even do that. The pirates and the telco are already taking over. They are the ones pirating the work. How do you now invest in what um, you want to do when already the, the profit will come to you? The profit will go to some boys in Alaba or some telcos. You will not be in debt. Yes, yes, because you take it take like twenty million I, to take good a movie, and you didn't get even five five million. You have to pay your pay, I know pay, pay this money that back. Took fifty million, set up a record label, mm. signed the artist, produced them, did his video, did promotion, and I, same thing. I told him, I said, this is not the time to jump into this kind of stuff, unless your papa get money like David do. But if not, you need to take it easy. Mm. But you see, everybody wants to do something. We're growing fast, so you want to be. Uh, uh, belong, but the fact is, I made it. I made him understand that, guy, you're not going to get royalty, but you can make your artist big and you get money from concerting. That's why, if you see the problem coming from all those artists now, is co is contract based on sharing formula for concert, not for royalties. Mm. Nobody. I'm sitting here telling you, nobody for the past ten years has or have collected royalties. So that's why we built a solution. When they called us, invited us, and I told them, I am not coming to the taxi because it's not going to make uh, sense. They're like, no, it's going to make sense. And they Google, they read about the solution and all that. Oh, oh, you guys read about it. So how come you didn't come to us, let's work together, you now want me to invite musicians? I'm going to invite musicians, but hmm. I'm going to do a presentation. And they agreed. That was why we did the presentation. And immediately we finished 
the whole management and everybody like now we found out that we're not been doing the wrong thing and okay um, okay we, we need to look at okay. uh, look at how possible to make this thing work but if somebody's sitting somewhere and you think is a multi-trillion dollar industry Straight. i'll just jump in and collect tax, tax. yeah you want here okay all right and this is like a quick question now to to pretty um before now the the entertainment industry was not really booming this way because i'm sure the government really didn't see the 30 billion kind of money and 500 million <laughs> being made from a show but what was it like then way back in your time way back in our time in 1990 1991 we were able to get royalties for our work okay. um you get signed you you get signed with um Okay, we are signed with. There were labels around then. Uh, that's yeah. coming to. Mm -hmm. We are signed with five thousand naira then. Nineteen ninety. Wow. Five thousand naira. At the time we are moving to Premier Polygram, we are signed with two hundred and fifty thousand. Hmm. That should be like two hundred and fifty million now. Hmm. So it was huge. Now there was sharing formula for royalties. The record companies would say collect royalties, but at the at the tail end of ninety two to ninety three bootleggers came in hmm. they changed the structure now they can take your work go mass produce and go and sell now it doesn't come again to the record labels it doesn't come to the investors it goes to them so at the end i'm trying to say what shut them down at the tail of 1993 record companies started folding up because no return on investment anymore they're not getting money for what and they were investing on. So, um, Ivory, Polygram, EMI. EMI, the whole of them shut down. Mm -hmm. Not because they don't want to jump into it. Now, but this, what made it boom was the digital era. Mm. Digital era now came. For over like 10 years, we were struggling with pirates. Digital era came. Now, I can go there and sell my work. Selling my work doesn't mean I'm getting real. Selling my work is so I could market my talent and i will be seen everywhere okay. marketing my talent meaning i'm going to get more concert so artists started making more money from concerting than royalties mm -hmm. formerly when we started we make more money from, from royalties, royalties yeah, than concert. Concert. Mm -hmm. and i think i think to add this i think the government has been benefiting from this uh, uh, bridge of uh, of uh, reality not coming to artists because the materials these guys from the Alabas used to they create, import them. they import them, they pay tax on, on, on the so, it, so it, And the government is not doing anything to stop them from paying tax on their shops that they have in the Alaba there, that they make so much money revenue for local government and stuff. The so they're not going there to stop crazy. those guys to make the artists to make enough, enough money yeah, on the yeah, street uh, yeah. with that, on the talent, and you 